You are watching One Book, One Review with Vipke. Hey everyone, today I want to tell you about Geek Girl by Holly Smale. And I love this book, seriously. I loved it. I first heard about this book from Stevie over at Sable Cod, and she kept mentioning it. Then she had an interview with the author and I really liked the author. She was really funny and relaxed and likable. So I figured why not go ahead and buy the book. The story is about this 15 year old girl who everybody at school considers a geek. She knows a lot of things and she isn't very well liked. She doesn't have a lot of friends. She doesn't consider herself beautiful. So when one day she's spotted by a model agency, she sees her chance to be transformed into this butterfly, into this liked person, this beautiful person. And of course that doesn't happen, but it is her idea. That's basically what the book is about. Her trying to become a different person. And it is just funny. Not only that, the idea of someone changing and becoming a more liked person only because they're a model is kind of weird, but the way she goes into her transformation is just so geeky. I just love that part. Another thing I really liked about the book is how realistic it is. Okay, you might say the story doesn't sound that realistic like the geek girl that's discovered to become the supermodel, but it is kind of written in a realistic way. Every character and the situation you believe them, they're realistic, they could be, they could happen. They are not like out of the world or anything. And the way they are written and portrayed and the dialogues, it's just all believable. And then there are the characters. I love the characters. Like Harriet Manor, she's such a perfect person as a geek. She just knows weird things. She's awkward, she's clumsy. She makes plans. I liked her when she makes plans and lists. And her parents, they are so weird. Her father is just creative person that doesn't really want to grow up. So the mother has to take the part of the grown up and she's a lawyer and she's portrayed as very reasonable and sensible and she's always wearing suits when she isn't wearing a dressing gown. Despite the fact that Harriet is not really a liked person in her school, she does have her own stalker. And I just love the idea of that stalker. Toby is such a great character. He's so quirky, he's so weird. and. I really wouldn't want to have him following me, but not in a creepy way. He's just another geek and he just likes Harriet and he likes to follow her. And it's just hilarious. Believe me, hilarious. And of course there has to be like a nemesis or an evil person. And that's Alexa. She's just a plain typical, I know everything better and I hate everyone who's not perfect like me, schoolgirl. But she's well done and she's really believable. She made me happy that I'm not going to school these days because I think in my day it was a little bit more relaxed and not as hard as today. Apart from the plot and the characters, I also love the writing. From the first page on, you're just sucked into the story. It's just so easy to read and witty and funny at the same time. And I just love that, the light flow of the book. I read it in two days. I basically couldn't put it down. I was laughing almost all the way through. Towards the end, it went a little bit down and I was like, oh no, it's getting a little bit too serious. But at the end again, I was laughing. And believe me, I had to really try not to laugh out loud because I was sitting on a full train. I don't know what else to say about the book. I can recommend it to anyone who's looking for a light and easy summer read. And it's just funny. You're just gonna love it and you're gonna laugh. Believe me, you're gonna laugh. So he was like jumping around, like, you're gonna be a supermodel. <laughs> um, and my mum was like, absolutely not, not in a million years, because <laughs> you are not a, 